Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us, and for this new figure unboxing and review, we're going to be looking at the Velocitron Speedia 500 Collection Decepticon Crasher figure. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to unbox a live in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We're going to have a detailed look at her in both of her modes, help you decide how you want to display her. I'm going to get some of the other figures that have shared the same mould, so we can have a look and compare them. And of course, get some other figures from the same toy lines, and indeed newer toy lines, to see how she displays. Before we open her up, let's have a look at this beautiful artwork on the side of the box there. Because it's an open box window, and this is a brilliant homage to G1, they packaged her in her alternate mode first. We've got a picture of the alternate mode there and an actual stock photo there and of course the real thing right there there is the full image again of her in robot going around the sides now we can have a look at the back very quickly and we can see it's going to take 18 steps to transform and as i'm opening this i need to remind anybody who's not subscribed to this channel if you'd like to hit the subscribe button for me now please because it really will help me out and the other is to thank matt who again found me this and of course after full payment he sent it to me very quickly and safely so there she is the illustrious crasher that for some reason has never but she appeared in the uk very very uh, well sparsely and a couple of websites only available on imports what i need to do though is just to save time in the video let's set her free and i'll come straight back to you so here she is in her alternate mode then and i love this mold i think it's really really good and to be honest i think the color scheme on this works even better so this is the second update to the mirage mold that we had in the kingdom line so what i mean by that is it wasn't the first mirage uh, that we had which was the normal mirage and indeed the decepticon mirage because of at the back there's this five millimeter port etc this was the newer version now i don't actually have the kingdom version of mirage but i've got the lead foot from the wreckers which i'll show you in a second but as you can see the wheels they look really good the actual the black looks so much better because the black in the center it just tends to really work the zero one there is fine the decepticon logo there is really good I think the best thing about this mould is pretty much everything's tucked away quite neatly. Underneath, you've got, obviously, the, um, I suppose, that's the real chest, isn't it? I was going to say the faux chest, but that's all on the front. Um, again, the silver in the wheels work. Everything pegs together really, really well. And the detail and the moulding on this is really good. I do like this, and I am still after the Kingdom Mirage, but it obviously comes in that two-pack. Um, right, with the accessories, there are two, but they can be three because you can separate this exactly like the missile launcher, of course, from the very first Mirage toy. So you've got an abundance of five millimeter ports. You can put one either side um, there on the back of the body, which looks really good. Um, let's have a quick look at how they put it on on the package. They're exactly the same, to be fair, even the same way around, to be honest. Um, they do look good. And as you've seen that you can attach other things so you could pop this out if you wanted to and then take other figures weapons and accessories or even blast effects and pop them in there as well if you don't or if you're wondering about the size comparison rather than me bringing out loads of mirages um i'll bring out some studio series figures so there's a studio series jolt so she's only just a little bit bigger than that uh, with regards to some other mainline deluxe figures there is animated prowl which is obviously a motorcycle but still about the sort of same size you're getting roughly the same amount obviously as toy of toy rather for your money but again because this is just a redeco of a mold you've seen loads of times i'm not going to spend any more time on this we're going to come back have a look at her in a robot mode see how she displays and finish up on that section so here she is in her robot mode. Quick apologies, no transformation process on this video. Two reasons. One, to keep the main length of the video down. And the second is because I've uploaded a tutorial video, which will help you with her and indeed the other figures that share the same mould. Let me just bring that box there, stop the reflection coming off. And I really, really like this. As I said, I think the colour scheme on it just works. Uh, we've got, it's not a completely different head sculpt. I believe it's the hollow one from the Kingdom 3 pack. Sorry, the Siege 3-pack, I think it was. Now, I've actually not opened mine. Yes, it is. You can see it's the same as the Hollow Mirage in there. So they've used the Hollow Mirage head sculpt for this, and they've obviously given it her deco treatment. But as I mentioned um, in the other section, that although these look incredibly similar, which they do, 
this is as I say a new updated version of the Mirage mold. See the differences at the back with all this here. A lot of it is the same, but the main difference is you'll see when you turn it around. I'm going to move the Decepticon Mirage out of the way for now. What we need to do then is have a quick look at her articulation. So her head will spin all the way around. It looks up and down ever so slightly as well, which is great. The shoulders, oh, they're not fully tapped down. The shoulders will go all the way around out to the side these bits should tab in that's better uh there's a swivel underneath the shoulder like that there's a bicep flexion there isn't any wrist swivel unfortunately um and that's mainly due to the fact that i know people aren't like this there's a big gaping hole in the forearms which is where the fists hide there's a waist swivel which is brilliant and you can see at the back by looking at the joints the hips are fully articulate so you've got a 90 well you've got 90 degree kickback 90 degree forward so a full 180 degree swing with a swivel like that with a knee bend and an ankle tilt and an ankle rock so again super articulate and as articulate as you're going to get for a deluxe figure now the weapons and accessories again are you going to see we can split these up if you want to um so you can put one in the back so what i mean by that is you can store an accessory in the back if you wanted to for some reason if you didn't want her to carry it or you can split this up and then you can make it look like she's got um i suppose a rocket launcher and another little firing um accessory here like so so that's how you can carry all three that looks really good actually just totally fluked that that looks really good um, at the back the good thing as well is because the way the wheels fold it covers up the big holes that there would have been with this there would have been a load of holes so um it covers all that that's not too bad at all but of course you can pop this back into where it's supposed to go it's just a shame that none of the new figures actually fire anymore like the grappling hook with the origin jazz and then we can pop that in there as well so very quickly even though it's not the same mold i'm just going to bring decepticon mirage back in as well reminder this is the same as your standard siege mirage mold so they are slightly different and in fact you can tell by the side panels as well looking at that right let's move him out of the way completely now and let's bring in g2 leadfoot now g2 leadfoot was part of the wreckers and this is the same mold so if you spin it around at the back you can see what i meant about the gaps there on the back of the forearms and funnily enough i've put the extra weapon for him stored at the back like so so again this mold is getting quite a bit of use uh but i like it as i've already stated i think it's good it's nice i don't want to say too simple you know 18 steps and it's clever the way everything's uh worked out like i said that's obviously a foach it's a real chest but the front of the vehicle isn't anywhere really visible whilst in robot mode it just looks really really good right with regards to the other or shall i say his her wave mate i was gonna say here's for him her wave mate these again are so scarce but ironically enough uh, at the time of making this, I've just seen these reappear on in-demand toys in the UK. Um, so get check out there if you're still after these. I'm really hoping that they're going to reissue these um, so everybody gets a chance to get a hold of them. With regards to some of the newer figures, there is your new Toxitron Jazz. So that's a deluxe figure. And it's just because I've got these at hand. There's a Voyager class figure. And that's classed as leader. But again, not the biggest um and here's another one another figure that i suppose this time is classed as a leader that's your main line uh armada megatron right last few comparisons or i suppose details to bring in and show you how big she is we've got a new age ultra magnus which is actually bigger unbelievably we've got a new age david um funnily enough talking of mirage i've got an iron factory mirage there i've got a magic square trailbreaker and then finally let's bring in some more hasbro stuff so there's a core class there's new age david um and indeed there is where's the other core classes i've got somewhere around here they all seem to have moved but for now that's where i'm going to round it up as i say great figure love the mold there is that's the one i was looking for love the mold just hope that we can get more of them available in the uk let me know what you think of it guys take care